Lord. Good to see everyone. My Lord, I pray yes. everyone had, someone had a great week this week. Yes. Let's get into the word, man. Yes. Father, we love you, we praise you, we thank you for this and that opportunity you've given us to gather together around your word. Speak to us, Holy Spirit. Bless our eyes for the seas. Blessed our ears for the heat. Our hearts and our minds are blessed. We share here for all you have for us on the day. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. We find any demonic spirit, any evil spirit that will try to hinder the flow of the word, we curse you right now in Jesus' name. We decree that the word of the Lord shall free course. And we shall grace grace in this time in the word. And we love you and we bless you in Jesus' name. We all pray, amen. Amen, amen, amen. amen. Let's go to Matthew 24, verse 3. Six point 
7 million Jews have returned. Going back. They don't even know why they're going. I don't know even why they're going back. They just feel, they say they feel called to go back to their homeland. Yes, absolutely. And Jesus said, when you see this, this is one of the signs of what? He's about to return. Yes. All right? Second sign we looked at. 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 16 to 18. Now, for any alternative, just put a picture up. Second sign we're going to see. There you go. The second side we're going to see is what? The rapture. Uh -huh. So he said, once you see the Jews start returning to Israel, start what? Looking for his what? Return. Yes. What is the rapture? It's when all the, those who believe in Jesus Christ yes. will be caught up in the sky together to be with him. Say man, stand there. And that can happen here at any moment now. Yes. 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 Oh, Lord. Millions of people who have accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior will vanish, disappear from the planet immediately to be with Jesus. Right before the astonished eyes of all those. Can you imagine TikTok? Instagram? Can you imagine what we're going to be talking about on Facebook? When millions and millions of people just leave this earth all at one time? I plan on being in the first load out of here. Amen. First day smoking, come get yeah. me, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what you Can <laughs> 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 you imagine? You walking in the mall with one of your friends, and immediately they just disappear, the clothes hit the ground, they gone. Can you imagine the, the nightly news? <laughs> Can you imagine all this going on? Can you imagine here the chaos of going on in the world? Mm. All right, now, I do want to go to Luke 17. You can leave that there, but go to Luke 17, verse 26. Can you imagine people in your house just missing? Mm. Mm. Luke 17, 26. But Jesus said, before he returns, what should, what, what's going to be the state of the world? As it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. For they did eat and they drank and married wives and was given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. One of the things that marked the days of Noah was, what's this? Wickedness and great violence. A lot of violence in the earth. So he said, when the Son of Man returns, one of the things going to be going on in the world is watch this great violence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then he says again, likewise also as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they brought, they sold, they planted, they built it. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Mm -hmm. So here, what, what what days of Lot? Hear it. Lot lived in an evil society. It was marked with rampant homosexuality and a culture who accepted this lifestyle as normal. So he said, so when Jesus returns, he said you're going to see a lot of violence and a lot of uh, sexual perversion. Uh -huh. Say that's here now. That's here now. There was a time when, as we've been sharing, people did this stuff in the closet. If they were homosexual or gay or lesbian or whatever, this stuff was hidden. Mm -hmm. But now we live in a culture where it's widely accepted. Mm -hmm. Now we live in a culture where, where a man can dress like a woman and it's accepted. Mm -hmm. Now we live in a culture where, where, where homosexuality, lesbian, gay, it's, it's, it's nothing. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, you will look back to the wrong one if yeah. you say something. Yeah. That's how that's perverted right. yeah. this thing has. They have completely twisted up on us. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Lord, man. They have pushed agendas. They have pushed laws that they're saying now if you see someone get dead with a living, you're the one that's wrong. Yes, amen. Oh man. Oh my Lord. So think about it now. You should, you should matter. All of us are here are intelligent people. If millions and millions of people leave this earth all at one time, can you imagine the, the chaos? Can you imagine the, 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 the body of 
of the dollar. Can you imagine the stock market? Can you imagine hospitals? My God, man. Think about all this stuff that be going on when, when the church get ratcheted out of here. Say me I'm saying that. Amen. Now, let's go to, uh, my friend, you got to turn it in. Just bring it down, put a picture up. So, in the midst of all this mess going on, man, and all this chaos going on, one man going to rise up. Pastor, why are you teaching this? Just in case somebody left behind. One man going to rise up. Oh, Lord. Oh, and, come on. Yeah, huh? <laughs> one man going to rise up. And he said he's going to come. It, the, the revelation said he's going to come riding on the white horse. Mm -hmm. You got to understand, though, Jesus is going to come riding on the white horse. Uh -huh. But this man, he's coming riding on the white horse trying to act like he is the Messiah. Uh -huh. My God. Yeah. He is not the Messiah. He would be what is known as the Antichrist. Uh -huh. This Antichrist man, he's going to come trying to make people think he is the Messiah. But he's a liar. He's a liar. That's right. And a deceiver. Yes. His, his, his full agenda won't be made known in the beginning. He's going to he come as a world leader helping to bring the world back together once all the saints get cut up out of here. Mm -hmm. He's going to be there to help us just bring the governments and, and the stock market and the dollar and all these different things. He will help bring some stability. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And then once he gets that stronghold on everything, then he's going to reveal his true agenda. My uh -huh. God. Yeah. Here's what you got to understand. Young people, everybody, my God. There are many antichrists. The antichrist right there, the man himself is not here, but his spirit is in the earth. Mm -hmm. These people are against Christ. Yeah. Anti against Christ. Yeah. They don't, they are against God and everything that stands for God. Uh, first Thessalonians say he opposes God. The antichrist spirit is in the world today. Yeah. That's why people can say whatever they want to say. Just don't talk about Jesus. Yeah. You can go online. You can go on social media. Say whatever you want to say. But if you're talking about Jesus, they want to pull down your post. Why? They are against Christ. Yeah. And the sad part about it again, the church folk are the one here that's trying to vote these people in office. Right, right, yeah. Oh Lord. Yeah. Because you're thinking one party's gonna give you better this, or this party's gonna give you better that. Yeah. They're gonna give me better benefits. They're gonna give me better that. All they want is my vote. No, my God, these people are anti. Yes. <laughs> against Christ. They're gonna pass laws against the church. They're gonna try to tell the preachers what they can preach from the pulpit. They're going to lock preachers up for saying anything against any lifestyle that they approve of. My right. God, right. man. Right. And the church is voting for it. Anti-Christ. Saints. Lord help me. John 15, verse 18. They are against the church. Yeah. Yes. They're going to pass the laws against the church. Mm -hmm. What do you do when they try to pass laws that say sing any church song you want, just don't say Jesus in your songs? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, I voted for him, Pastor. Sure you did. Because you thought he was going to give you more benefits. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And that's the trap. Yeah. <laughs> Minister Jesus told you God got you back. He told you, I will provide for you. Yeah. And yet we're still seeking men for benefit. Yeah. When God said, I will supply for all your needs. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Do you understand? To, to, to back some of the stuff, you got to bow the knee. Yeah, yes. that's right. Yes. Amen. That's right. You got to. Okay, you want benefits? Give me your vote. I'm going to pass laws now. Mm -hmm. The go up 
as a fat woman. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Ro, stay with me, stay with me. I'm on there. Stay with me. They refuse. Woe unto them that call, watch this, evil good, and watch it, good evil. That put what? Darkness for light and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. The things they're calling good are evil. Uh -huh. Amen. They're trying to make it, they're, they're trying to push in <laughs> equality. <laughs> that it should be okay for two men to get married. They're calling that right. They're calling that good. And God calls it evil. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord, amen. I, I amen. Lord Jesus. Amen. We, we, we trying to call evil. They're trying to call it evil. Oh, we, 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 we're living in a time when they call it darkness light. Yeah. Yeah. And light what? Darkness. Yeah. Why? They are anti-Christ. Mm -hmm. Against Christ. Against his followers. Yes. Mm -hmm. If they accept you, mm -hmm. you're not shining right enough. Right. Amen. 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 If the darkness is cool with you, your life's not shining. If right. they can drink and smoke and party and lie and fornicate around you uh -huh. and don't feel uncomfortable, yes. it's not, they're not the problem. Right. Your light out. Right. Uh, Amen. Uh, Amen. Uh, Amen. Uh, Amen. Listen, we told them this is light. We're in the salt and the light. Yeah. So if, they, if, they, if the darkness in a body and it doesn't affect them, if they don't cuss or they don't see you walking up and try to put a cigarette out, you're, you're not shining right uh -huh. now. Yeah, they curse me. I said, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. Then they, 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 they're not shut up right now. That's right. right. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. If they can do what they do comfortably around you, you're not shining bright enough. Yes. They don't know what side you on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My yeah. God. Amen. They still see you as a part of the darkness. Mm -hmm. Because one thing about darkness, it can't comprehend light. My right. God. Amen. So they should not be able to do whatever they want to do around you. No. Your presence should demand a response. Right. Oh my God, all he wants to do is be worshipped. Yeah, yeah. 
Isaiah 14, verse 12. He wants to be worshipped. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He still thinks that he's God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why it says the Antichrist, when he show up, he's going he gonna, to he gonna be desired to be worshipped as God, uh, uh, appearing and, 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 and exalt himself as God. Uh -huh. Why? He wants to be worshipped. Yeah. Yeah. How art thou fallen from heaven, O oh Lucifer? Talking about Satan, you son of the morning. How are you cut down to the ground with the weakened in nations? For you said in your heart, watch what he says, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars, above the stars of God. I will also I will sit also upon the mountain of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend upon the heights of the cloud. I will be like the most high. All Satan wants to do is to be what? Worship. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. God said, no. <laughs> you, you should be brought down to hell. Yeah, right. That's right. Yeah. I know your plan, buddy. Yeah. But you are going where? Down to hell. Yeah. To the what? Size of the pit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Listen to me now. He always desires to be worshipped. All he wants to do, he wants to take the focus off of God and get it on him. Now, dang, now this is just a thing. Once the salt, the ministry church to share with us, the salt and the light is taken out of the world, he's going to see this as an opportunity. Yeah, yeah. That's right. To be worshipped. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he shows up on that white horse and says, Okay, they're going, but well, guess what? Okay. Here I am. Mm -hmm. Revelation 1 verse 3. Mm -hmm. Now, don't let this stuff bore you or turn you off. Mm -hmm. That's the plan of the enemy. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because again, if we talk about money, houses, and cars, people holler. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, great time! Peace 
between Israel and their surrounding enemies. Israel was thoroughly on board. But the enemies didn't show up to the table. But that's not the thing. It's on the table now. So when the Antichrist show up, he's going to get to do what? Confirm the covenant. My God. But the covenant, my God, is already laid out. Israel was willing to go with it. They just waiting on the enemies. Two, I think two, two countries already signed up. My God, man. It's already here. Yeah, it's, it's on the table. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So whoever the Antichrist is, he's going to get both sides to the table. Israel's already at the table. He's going to get these other countries to get to the table and establish this covenant. Only one problem, man. Isaiah 28, verse 14. Stay with me, y'all. Stay with me. Stay with me. Only one problem. When they, when they establish this covenant, the wrath of God is released upon the earth. Mm -hmm. My God. He says, Isaiah 28, 14. Wherefore, hear the word of the Lord, you scorn for men that rule this people which is in Jerusalem. He says, So y'all want this. Y'all want this. He said, You rulers of Jerusalem. Watch what he says. Because you have said we have made a covenant with death and with hell. He said when they enter into that covenant with their, their enemies, they enter into a covenant of what? Death and hell. When they sign that covenant, my God, when Israel signs that peace treaty, death and hell is going to be released upon this earth. My God. And saints is already on the table. Mm -hmm. Israel will enter into a covenant, watch this, with the Antichrist and their surrounding neighbors for peace, protection, and safety. Mm -hmm. Once this covenant is signed, hear it, this event starts what is called the tribulation period. When the nation of Israel signs a seven-year peace treaty, but the Antichrist and their surrounding enemies, it's going to stir up the wrath of God. Mm -hmm. It will be no different than a, a woman married to another man goes and sleep with her neighbor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Israel, he said, is mine. Yeah. And then they go and enter into a covenant with the Antichrist? Mm -hmm. God's wrath, what? Comes upon the earth. My yeah. God. Matthew 24, verse 21. Stay with me. It might be, oh, stay with me, 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 stay with me. The wrath is coming. Yeah. Stay with me, man. Thank you. For then shall be what? Great tribulation. Such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. What is the tribulation? It's the great day of God's wrath, my Lord says. It's a seven-year period of great affliction, trial, suffering, and distress for those left behind after the rapture. My God. Okay, listen. Just listen now. We ain't going to bring out no more scriptures for a minute. Listen to me. One of the things that happened in the tribulation, Israel is going to be attacked. Iran and Russia and several other countries will attack Israel, trying to destroy Israel once and for all. And even when they try to attack Israel, guess what God does? He saves them. <laughs> He's just so faithful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, y'all don't start a covenant. And I see these people trying to come against y'all. I'm still going to help you just because I'm faithful. Yeah. He would destroy these army, armies with earthquakes, fire, and massive hailstones. The Antichrist, as we've been saying, would declare himself as God, and he would institute his trinity. He's so, he's so weak. All he does is copy God. Oh, yeah. He said, okay, you got a trinity? I'm going to have a trinity. Here's his trinity. You got Satan, the Antichrist, and what would we know as here? A false prophet. Mm -hmm. The false prophet's job is to get everyone
everyone to worship the Antichrist. Like the Holy Spirit's job is to get everyone to worship Jesus. The false prophet's job is to get everyone to worship the Antichrist. So much so he copied God, he won't even have a fake resurrection. He will be struck with a deadly head wound. And he was supposed to resurrect and walk into the Jewish temple and declare himself God. So something's going to happen and he will get a head wound and die. And in front of everyone, like I said, he's going to resurrect and go into the temple and tell everybody he's God. But watch this. And will demand worship from all the world's inhabitants. He's going to demand everybody worship him. Man. Yeah. And this is one time people want to understand. And all people want to do is go to church and shout. Mm -hmm. There's all this stuff going on around you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> people better wake up, man. He's going to try to get everybody here to worship him. Yes. Once the Jews see the Antichrist going to the temple and demand worship, you know what they do? They flee. Mm -hmm. Why? Jesus told them once they see this happen, run. Why? Because once he declares himself God, he's going to then command anyone who doesn't worship him to be killed. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So if someone is here, here it is, it's so important for everybody to go. If someone is here after the rapture, the Antichrist is going to try to get everybody watch this, to worship him. And anyone who doesn't worship him will be killed, saints. Yes. Mm -hmm. The Antichrist, his regime was consists of ten kingdoms. Hear me? They will give their all their authority to him. Again, he will institute one world government, my Lord, one world economy, one world religion that will enslave the whole world. He will have one common government, one common economy, and religion for the whole world. That's why, I don't know, I'm just saying what I believe. In order for these things to happen, he has to get leaders in position who believe in socialism. Yeah. He has to have people in position who believe we should all just be one. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. So if we think we all should be one, when he comes with one government, one religion, uh, one economy, sure, because we should all be one. Yes. That's his plan. Mm -hmm. This religion he's going to come up with, hear it, will accept all forms of worship, Except. just not God. <laughs> It's not Jesus. Right. Well, you can do that. You can worship the sand. You can worship the, the ground. You can worship the sun. But no Jesus would be allowed. Are you serious? Also, he will establish, watch this, the mark of the beast. The Antichrist will cause all to accept the mark of the beast will be cut off from the economic system of buying and selling. If you don't receive his mark, you won't be able to go into Walmart and eat you some bread. That's right. Amen. But if you receive the mark, you're automatically doomed to hell. Mm -hmm. Stay up, bread. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. Listen to some of the stuff going on during the tribulation period. Listen, young people. World war. Yeah. Famine. Inflation. Hear it. One fourth of the people and, cre and, cre and creatures die. Mighty earthquakes. One third of all trees and green grass are burnt up by hellfire. Blood cast upon the earth. A great mountain of sulfur falling into the sea, destroying a third part of the sea and all living creatures in it. A great star called Wormwood falls on the fountains of water and causes the water to turn bitter, resulting in the deaths of millions, my Lord. One third less sun. One third less moonlight. Stars extending the darkness of night, man. So he ain't even have regular daylight. It's going to be straight up nighttime all the time. Good God. Mm -hmm. Hideous demon-like 
creatures like scorpions and lust out of abominable pit are released. They can't kill man, for torment men so bad they want to die. Good God. 200 million demon spirit like horsemen will kill one third of the earth. So this is halfway through the tribulation, and about 50% of the earth's population will be destroyed. That's close to 3.5 billion people dead. Listen to me. Get ready to pull up Diagram 28, video 28. <coughs> Just watch this for a minute, man. Just watch it. Can you get the point out here like for a second? Just watch it. <coughs> And the angel took the censer and filled it with fire of the altar and cast it into the earth. And there were voices and thunderings and lightnings and an earthquake. The first angel sounded his trumpet and there came hail and fire mixed with blood and it was hurled down on the earth. A third of the earth was burned up, a third of the trees were burned up and all the green grass was burned up. The second angel sounded his trumpet and something like a huge mountain all ablaze was thrown into the sea. A third of the sea turned into blood, a third of the living creatures in the sea died, and a third of the ships were destroyed. The magnitude of this impact will also send waves roaring into the coastlines, massively affecting coastal cities, possibly wiping them off the map. The third angel sounded his trumpet, and a great star, blazing like a torch, fell from the sky on a third of the rivers and on the springs of water. The name of the star is Wormwood. A third of the waters turned bitter, and many people died from drinking the waters that had turned bitter. The fourth angel sounded his trumpet, and a third of the sun was struck, a third of the moon, and a third of the stars, so that a third of them turned dark. A third of the day was without light, and also a third of the night. The disaster caused by the first three trumpets will disrupt the Earth's surface, and will cause volcanic action on a level so great, smoke and debris will cause a block out of much of the natural light from the sun. As I watched, I heard an eagle that was flying in midair call out in a loud voice, Woe! Woe! Woe to the inhabitants of the earth because of the trumpet blast about to be sounded by the other three angels. Then the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fallen from heaven to the earth. To him was given the key to the bottomless pit, and he opened the bottomless pit, and smoke arose out of the pit like the smoke of a great furnace. So the sun and the air were darkened because of the smoke of the pit. Then out of the smoke, locusts came upon the earth, and to them was given power, as the scorpions of the earth have power. They were commanded not to harm the grass of the earth, or any green thing, or any tree, but only those men who did not have the seal of God on their foreheads. And they were not given authority to kill them, but to torment them for five months. Their torment was like the torment of a scorpion when it strikes a man. In those days, men will seek death and will not find it. They will desire to die, and death will flee from them. At the fifth trumpet, Lucifer and his angels are released from the abyss, torturing those who do not have the seal of God on their foreheads. They will physically appear for all to see. He will come as an angel of light, masquerading as Almighty God, mocking the second coming and placing himself as God, deceiving even the elect if that were possible. Many will marvel and believe the lie. Let no one deceive you by any means, for that day will not come unless the falling away comes first, and the man of sin is revealed, the son of perdition, who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he sits as God in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. They perish because they refuse to love the truth and so be saved. For this reason, God sends them a powerful delusion so that they will believe the lie. Lucifer is allowed to exercise his power for 42 months. The crisis government that will form shortly after the first trumpets is the beginning of the beast system in Revelation 13 that will become the only economically viable system globally to function in the current state of the world during those days. At this time, the world will be in ruin and the necessities of life will become scarce in a very short time period. Lucifer will head this government upon his appearing, for the foundation has been laid and the stage set for the events to follow. He will implement a mark, a pledge of allegiance for all those who wish to buy or sell and live sustainably for what short time they have left. This is the mark of the beast. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is a number of a man and his number is six hundred three score and six. If anyone worships the beast and its image and receives its mark on their forehead or on their hand, 
they too will drink the wine of God's fury which has been poured full strength into the cup of his wrath. They will be tormented with burning sulfur in the presence of the holy angels and of the Lamb. The sixth angel sounded his trumpet, and I heard a voice coming from the four horns of the golden altar that is before God. It said to the sixth angel who had the trumpet, Release the four angels who were bound at the great river Euphrates, and the four angels who had been kept ready for this very hour and day and month and year were released to kill a third of mankind. The number of the mounted troops was twice ten thousand times ten thousand. I heard their number. The seventh angel sounded his trumpet, and there were loud voices in heaven which said, The kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Messiah, and he will reign forever and ever. And the twenty-four elders who were seated at their thrones before God fell on their faces and worshipped God, saying, We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty, the one who is and who was, because you have taken your great power and have begun to reign. The nations were angry, and your wrath has come. The time has come for judging the dead, and for rewarding your servants, the prophets, and your people who revere your name, both great and small, and for destroying those who destroy the earth. Then God's temple in heaven was opened, and within his temple was seen the ark of his covenant. And there came flashes of lightning, rumblings, peals of thunder, an earthquake, and a severe hailstorm. Jesus concludes his work in heaven, and the redemptive judgments have finished. This marks the close of mercy, and the fate of those remaining on earth has been sealed. Prior to the imminent second coming, seven bowls will be poured out by the seven angels who have the seven trumpets. These vindictive judgments will plague and devastate those who killed and persecuted God's saints on earth. Sores will afflict those who took the mark of the beast. The sea will be turned to blood, and all life within will die. The rivers will turn to blood, for those who are thirsty for the blood of the saints will receive it in full. The wicked will be scorched by the sun and will curse the name of God. The beast system will be exposed and ultimately thrown into darkness, and the wicked will gnaw their tongues in agony. The great river Euphrates dries up, preparing a way for the kings of the east. Lucifer will claim the afflictions of the previous five bulls of the doing of the saints, having the world believe they are of the devil ironically enough, and will make a final attempt to make the earth desolate of the remaining saints by issuing a global death decree. The 1290th day of Daniel 12:11. The drying up of the Euphrates holds analogous meaning in that a deep and wide river provided a natural barrier separating lands. Jesus and his legion of angels will advance to rescue the remaining saints from death and destruction. This is the sign of the Son of Man that will be seen in the heavens. The seventh and final bowl, an earthquake so great and hailstones weighing a hundred pounds each, fall upon the earth, killing many of the wicked. And so they curse God on the account of the plague because it was so terrible. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light, and the stars will fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then will appear in heaven the sign of the Son of Man, and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn, and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory, and he will send out his angels with a loud trumpet call, and they will gather his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. Saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, 
till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were still 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. So, here God, he's so merciful. Yes. Even with all the tribulation going on, and the church already going out of here, mm -hmm. he's going to send 144,000 Jews, yeah. not Christians, mm -hmm. Jews preaching the gospel of Christ.
we laugh and stuff, but if you're not saved, yes, my yeah. God. Mm -hmm. why? What are you waiting for? Mm -hmm. Here's the thing about that we just saw, that could be avoided. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. I have no intention of participating in any of that. No. Amen. Yeah. I would be, we would be seeing that as, as a movie, like, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. That's the popcorn. <laughs> we won't be participating in that That's event. Right. That's Amen. right. That's right. That's right. That's right. We don't want you to either. We, exactly. Yes. We don't want anyone to participate. Get on the first bus. Yes. Yes. Good God. Mm -hmm. Yes. I don't want to believe in no Jesus. Mm -hmm. I don't believe in no white man. Me neither. I tell a story about two, two, two men were arguing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, I heard that. Yeah, yeah. So about what color was Jesus? The black man said he was black. Yeah. And the white man said he was white. And, and both of them passed. And they saw saw Jesus walking. They said, there he is. Cut him out, he was Spanish. Yes. Want to steal My brother and my sister details. We try to get as many as one for the little father, man. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be here for that second little man. Mm -hmm. But they, 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 as we saw, there's going to be a multitude that do. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. And look how faithful God is. Even with all that going on, He's faithful to provide all these people another opportunity. Mm -hmm. No one could ever tell me. I can't serve a God who will send me in the hell. Hey, he's trying all he can to get people not to go to hell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, if you're not saved today, I count an honor to lead you to the Lord, my brother, my sister. I'm trying to give you the opportunity today to get on the first level. Yeah. Get on the first bus tonight. And when that trumpet sound, you get caught up with us. And I know we just saw what we saw on the screen, but I don't know, the only thing our minds can wrap around what's going to be like during that tribulation period. What about women who accept Jesus during that time? They won't be able to go to the store and get no milk or anything for their baby. Lord, be my Lord. 
be my savior. Be my savior. Take my life, Take my life. And, do and do something with it. I receive you now. I receive you now. And I thank you, and I thank you for receiving me. For receiving me. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 Now I'm saying, well, what should I do? Tell as many as you can. Mm -hmm. Get on that first note. Yes. Receive Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. You know they got this, you know they got the thing that said friends don't let friends drunk drive. Uh -huh. I seen a uh, post that said, friends don't let friends go to hell. Uh -huh. He'll tell me my real friend and you will let me go to hell. That's right. right. Yeah. He my friend. And the way you my friend, and you know I'm going to hell, you gonna say something? What? No, let me go to hell. Right, that's right. Thank God for the men and women that led up to the Lord. Some they said we will say something. That's real love. Yeah. Real love, but don't, don't, don't just be around me. I love you, and you see me going to hell. No, tell me, man. You need to get saved. Yes. Yes. Amen. Friends don't let friends go to hell. That's right. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Yes. If I really love you, I would say, listen. I love you. I ain't here to judge you, I ain't here to condemn you. But this is what I want you to do. I want you to know Jesus is Lord. Yeah. yeah. And Jesus is out to save you. Yeah. And he must be born again. Amen. 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 God bless you. God, we pray. Hey, did you pray your prayer with us? My Lord. Tell somebody. Tell your friends. Man got the man got uh, had an encounter with Jesus. He said, I want to go with you. And he said, No, 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 you can't go with me. Go tell all your family and your friends what you experienced. Tell your co-workers about Jesus. Tell your loved ones. Amen. 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 We thank you for joining us. God bless your heart. We pray the rest of the week is full of God's favor. Hey, find your good church home. Get your good Bible. Go someone that's preaching the gospel, man. Go someone that's going to equip you to, to do what God has called you to do. Because I believe, as we've been sharing, that the end is not. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. We thank you for joining us. Hey, God bless you. Pray the rest of your week is full of God's favor and God's blessing. Amen. 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 Amen.